on in the building. What's up, girl? Hello. Hello. Hi. Thanks, Miami, for having me. You're now, welcome. listen, I know my shirt says sorry, not listening, but I'm totally listening. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm glad to have you on the show as always. Thank you. I'm I, glad you know, to be here. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you. All I have to ask, the first question is, who is D Malone? And like I said, this is, this was, a, it was a, to me in my head, I was like, this was going to be a, this was a tough question because um, I remember reading that sometimes a lot of us, we get caught up. We, our identity is caught up in what we do. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. And I am not what I do. I do nails. That's right. Um, uh, I even do makeup. I, I even do hair, you know what I'm saying? But, but I'm not those things. I mm -hmm. am who God says I am. I am a child of God. Yes. Um, I am a, a, a girl who came from Brooklyn, New York, moved to Queens. Um, I'm a singer. I, I, you know, I sing, I do makeup, I do hair, I do nails. Um, but I'm a vessel. Yes. I am here to do what it is that I was supposed to be doing. And that's who D Malone is. D Malone is a vessel. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> All right. Now. I love that. I love that. I'm going to go with that. So how far back does your journey go as a licensed nail technician and ed educator? <laughs> well, as a licensed nail technician, it goes back about nine years. Mm -hmm. um, as an educator, it's about maybe three years now. Okay. Um. And it's so funny how, how uh, they both came about. My, um, I've been doing nails since I was 13 years old. Like I would do nails for like my friends in high school and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And even after high school, I was doing nails. Uh, and I had stopped for a period of time because I got discouraged. And uh, I was like, I'm singing anyway. I don't have time to do these nails. So let me just be the star that I, you know, I believe I'm supposed to be. That's right. And um, I went through a period of grief because one of my very best friends had passed away. Okay. And I wasn't doing nails anymore. That's Sorry, okay. Man. Thank you. I, I wasn't doing nails anymore. I was just doing my music. And I remember having a conversation with him right before he died about the idea of doing nails again. And I remember him saying, do it, Cookie. Like, you can do it. Like, you, you, you got this. And I was like, okay. And so when he passed, I felt like I have to do this. Because, mm -hmm. he, you know what I mean? He had already said, yo, you can do this. Do it. Yeah. And so I started it um, right, you know, after my whole grieving period, of course, mm -hmm. I started uh, doing nails again. And I remember I was on Facebook. I had posted my own nails and a friend of mine was like, oh, great. These look amazing. Like, you should come and do my wife's nails at the house. And then it sparked the mobile thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, that's my niche. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be just a regular nail technician. And not saying that there's anything wrong with us because we're amazing. You know what I mean? But yeah. I was like, I'm going to bring something different to the game. I'm going to be a mobile nail tech. And so that sparked me doing the mobile nail business. Shout out to Ted Hogan. Thank you so much for that idea. <laughs> um, and I don't even think that he's ever, I don't think I've ever really said, you know, to him, thank you, but thank you. Yeah. Um, so that started that. And um, the teaching happened because I had gone to this nail school and my teacher, Miss Judy, I love Miss Judy. Like we still follow each other on Instagram and everything. Um, Miss Judy in inside class would be like, hey, why don't you show them how you do this? Like, I need you to help, you know, and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, why do you think I should do it? Like, I don't know. You know better than me. You know, I came here to learn. Yeah. And I didn't realize that in that time frame, God was saying, this is what I, I want you to get used to doing this because this is what you're going to be doing later on down the road. I yeah. didn't realize it at that moment. Um, so I was teaching these girls while I was myself learning. Wow. And I, and I think that's how he, you know, does things for us on a, on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to do this while you're, while mm -hmm. you're learning this, you're going to mm -hmm. be teaching somebody else this. Um, and so, uh, 
like I said, I didn't realize at that moment. And, and, you know, I was like, okay, cool. I graduated, got out of the school. And, um, my teacher then wasn't teaching in that, in that school anymore. Mm -hmm. And I had called the school because they had sent me an email about alumni and I was like, oh yeah. So how do I go about sending you my bio and what do you want me to do? And da, 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 da. Yeah. And, and it just so happened, I think that uh, a friend of mine named Melissa, uh, prior to that, I wasn't even thinking about teaching. Mm -hmm. She was like, D, what do you think about teaching in this school? And I was like, teaching? I don't have no license. Like, what am I supposed to do? And they, the school facilitated me getting my license and so on wow. to be able to teach in that school. I stopped teaching in that school because I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then when I called my nail school to mm -hmm. talk about the um alumni situation i was like yeah you know i was teaching in the school and they was like what well you should come down and meet with us and i'm like oh snap and i came down and met with them and then it just turned into me Look, teaching Erica, at the school <laughs> yeah and they then facilitated me getting uh taking a class to further my education on how to teach and then getting my my license and being able to teach in the school and i had amazing students that i still speak to some of them to this day but that was a fun journey and it was it yes was it was a journey and you can feel it as you were talking you know you were guided along the whole way that, i was guided and yes, didn't you were, realize sister. it yes you were <laughs> didn't even realize it so what has been your experience with uh being a celebrity nail technician <laughs> you know what i am so grateful and i'm not even gonna lie to you i said to god in a prayer even recently i was like and he probably was looking at me shaking his head like my poor baby because <laughs> right. i was like jesus just give me set work i just yeah. need set work i just want to be able to just come in and do your nails and then and, and leave yeah um but celebrity uh being a celebrity nail tech it's fun, but it's pressure. It's pressurized. Uh -huh. um, and as beautiful as it is, I believe that there's still, it's still an untapped um, ministry. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's one of the reasons why I want to be there because I believe that once you become a celebrity, for a lot of them, they lose a sense of self. Mm -hmm. um, and because I can't be myself anymore yeah, yeah. because the minute I'm myself, you're scrutinizing it mm -hmm. because, and, and for some of them, they are themselves, but some of them, there's no, there's no privacy. Yeah. You know, they, a lot of their peace is missing and they feel that they have to live up to what the image that they've created for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and so I believe that when, when I came into a lot of, the celebrities lives that I had, they became my friends. Mm -hmm. Um, and not because I was overbearing, not because I was unprofessional and, you know, trying to be their friend, but just because I was me. Yeah. And I was, and I was like, Hey, That's what yeah, I was like, Hey, you yeah. know, like, let's do this for this. And, you know, a lot of them, I would never even charge my, you know, my normal day rate. And even my normal day rate wasn't much. It wasn't what a lot of, other celebrity nail techs was charging. And it's not because I didn't know my worth. It was because, and maybe a part of it was because I didn't know my worth, but the other part of it was, I need to get to you. Yeah. I, I need to get to you. Um, and I just didn't feel like I wanted to, you know what I mean? Like, I was yeah. like, I didn't, at that point, I was like, I'm not that great. So, you know, let's, let's do whatever. Yeah. Um, but it was a, it was a, it was a great experience for me. It, sometimes it, it humbled me. Sometimes it, <laughs> sometimes it made me go what is wrong with you <laughs> but then other times it 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 gave me insight into what I thought I wanted uh-huh yeah you know and not to say that it was a bad thing but sometimes you you know you it, it gave me insight into how hard they work mm -hmm. and how hard you have to work mm -hmm. um it, it was it was a it was a good time and it's still it's still a good time because some of them I'm still friends with you yeah. know some of them like no but I'm still, you know, I, every last one of them, well, except for one, <laughs> I think would have something, you know, good to say about my work. Even if it's not about my personality, they'll yeah. they still have something good to say about my work. Okay. Um, okay. So it was a good, it was a good experience. You know, I like it. I still would, you know, continue to do it. Okay. Um, so it was cool for me.
So what, what challenges or, or grief are there that's in the nail tech, being a, excuse me, being a nail tech entrepreneur, what griefs are there? You know, just a lot of people don't know that, um, say for instance, in particular women coming out of school or guys, um, and what are some things that you would like to share with them that being a new entrepreneur in the nail tech world, you know, some things they may, they may run across or go through. Oh, the number one thing you're going to come up against is yourself. And when I say yourself, I'm going to label and I'm going to, I'm going to point out everything about your self that you're going to <clears throat> allow to diminish you. Mm -hmm. um, and I found this within myself and I, I see it every time I go on my Instagram. Um, one is fear. You, you're, you're going to have to, you're going to have to work through the fear. Yeah. I'm not saying that you're not going to be afraid. You're going to be afraid. Let me tell you something. Even doing a celebrity's nail, that was so crazy because I got the opportunity to do two celebrities' nails immediately after school. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I was ready, but guess what? I didn't say no because I was like, <laughs> if God, you presented this to me, so That's I'm right. going to step yeah. out on faith and, and mm -hmm. you're going to go you're going to come with me and you're going to make this work. And That's right. the, the whole step of the way, I was like, Jesus, come on now. You know, I got to make this happen in this amount of time. Like, I need you to help me. Mm -hmm. And he did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to work through the fear. So okay. you're going to come up against fear. You're going to come up against discouragement. Do not allow yourself. You're going to get discouraged. Don't allow yourself to sit in the discouragement. That's right. We'll right? Because, yeah, because you mm -hmm. will talk yourself out of it. You will count yourself out of mm -hmm. something that is meant for you. Mm -hmm. um, the other grief I would say is comparing. That's a grief. Yeah. That's a grief because that comparing makes you hurt. Mm -hmm. It hurts you so deeply deeply i think comparing yourself um is the worst thing you could do don't compare yourself to anybody else mm -hmm. it is okay to be inspired by somebody else but it's not okay to compare yourself and that's right. something i went through yeah i went through that period of comparing myself and and sounding like a dummy comparing mm -hmm. myself because everybody is good at what they're supposed to be good at and it's not meant for you to be good at every single thing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You could, yeah. you, you could, you could, you know, uh, be the jack of all trades and the master of none. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I would say that comparing yourself, um, that that's a, a spirit that you you don't want to inhabit. Um, let me think of one other, um, another grief. Um, I think those are the ones that that's the most prevalent to me at, at this point in time. Okay. Um, mm, yeah. I mean, I really, I, I, I urge people to know themselves. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Know, know what you're good at. Know, know what, what your passion is, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and follow that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not the greatest at hard gel. I'm good at it. Mm -hmm. I'm not the greatest. And I don't care. I'm definitely not. I am oh, oh, so no, no good when it comes to the 3D flowers and all that. Now nah, you can count me out. <laughs> that ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you need me to draw a, 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 a portrait or put a teddy bear yeah. on your nails with acrylic, you're you are completely in the wrong in the wrong place. No ma'am. Not to say that I wouldn't challenge myself to do it, and I haven't, but. I, I don't put limits on myself, but I know where I'm at. You That's know what right. I'm saying? Your line. So, yeah. so I, 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 know, I know what I can do. I know my strong suit. So That's I guess, right. you know, I would say, you know, don't, don't, I'm not saying don't be afraid because you're going to be afraid, but move through the fear. Mm -hmm. Don't allow yourself to sit in discouragement. You, if you get discouraged, get back up and talk to yourself and tell yourself, no, nah, I'm good. And that doesn't mean that you're puffing your chest up. It doesn't mean that you're boasting. It doesn't mean you're bragging on yourself. But sometimes you got to get in that mirror and tell yourself, nah, I'm pretty cool. God gave me these gifts. The works of my hands will prosper. And, and, and then understand that I can't look at what everybody else is doing. I need to put the blinders on right. and stay where I'm at and work and focus on what I'm doing 
yeah. because that's where I'm, I'm set to be. Yeah. He didn't set me out to look at what you were doing and try to follow. He gave me my own path. So you have your own path. So I would just say those are the griefs that I've dealt with. Or, and, oh, <sighs> the lack of camaraderie. Don't get upset if everybody doesn't want to be your friend. Yeah. Don't get upset if you reach out to somebody and they don't want to mentor you. Mm-hmm. Or you feel that, you know, because this industry is an industry that, I hate to say it, but some of it is, is, is clickish. Mm -hmm. So that's Um, that's like my next question. Is it very competitive? Is it? It's, it's, it is, it's competitive and it's clickish, but knowing that you got to know where you, where, who you are and know that I'm not about to compete with you. I'm not your competition, sweetheart. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want you to win just as much as you want to win. So are you supported by other technicians in, in, you know, in your industry? Do they support you? Because you know how sometimes, I mean, depending on I do believe do. that, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good, good. I believe that there are some nail technicians that support me, but they're, they're you know, and that's what I focus on. Yeah. Because I could sit here and be like, yeah, there's tons. There are absolutely tons yeah. of nail technicians that know who I am, but they will pretend that they don't know who I am. And that's okay. fine too. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm okay with that. I used to not be okay with that. Mm-hmm. I used to want that validation. Like, how dare she act like she don't know me when I know who she is and blah, yeah. blah, blah. You know, um, but with that comes a peace of mind for me mm-hmm. now because I know that um, I'm doing something right. Yes, yes, yes. You got to yes. know, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody is not going to, everybody's not going to like you. Everybody's not going to gravitate towards you. There are going to be some people who may not gravitate towards you, who you may inspire, and they may never tell you that you inspired them. Yeah. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely okay. Right. But to know that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing mm-hmm. should be your end all be all. Yeah. It shouldn't be, you know, oh, well, they're not supporting me. Because everybody's not going to support you. But as so long as God is supporting you, that's it. That's mm-hmm. it. You're yeah. good. Yeah. You're good. I used to want everybody to support me. I used to want all these people to be my friends. And, and, I, and I would almost change who I was so that I could get these friends. Oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't work. Yeah. Because then once you get those friends, you have to keep up that thing. Mm-hmm. That thing that which you're not. No, nah, that's not, that's not going to work for me. Mm-hmm. That's not, that's, nope, that's not it. Yeah. That's, that's not it. So if they don't support me, that's fine. Mm-hmm. You, if you don't support me now, guess what? You will. Yeah. And if you never do, that's fine too. Absolutely. Because those who are supposed to, to, be, to be with you and supposed to support you will. Mm-hmm. And you got to know that it might not be the big wigs all the time. Mm-hmm. It, it might be the, the, the one that got, you know, two people whose nails she does only. You know, it might be the person that has no followers or, or five followers or 500. Yeah. But that's okay. Because that, that person that's supporting you, if she shares whatever it is that, you, that you've got going on, with those people that she has, that's yeah. five more people you didn't have. Okay. Come on now. So yeah. I, I, I count it all joy. I know, that's it's, right. <laughs> it, took, it took me time, no? Yeah. yeah. It I took me time to get to that, that place. I yeah. Think we kind of all go through that. I, I think you and I were sharing a conversation some time back, and it's like, you know, people love to put these labels on. <clears throat> if even if you were guided through them and like I was guided through a lot of great women so Mm -hmm. and I was taught by a lot of great women and coached by a lot of great women but I had to learn how to turn them off so I can turn me on because but you know yes people they don't like for you to turn them off well honey I can't keep looking at you because you will be my story so right 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 learn how to be able to separate yourself even you know and some people don't take you know kindly to that when you have to shut them down that's not my problem yeah it's not because i'm trying to do me but um (laughs) (laughs) that's not my my problem yeah but i just hate that about you know whatever field that you're in or you know um it's always the same it seems like there's a little you know beef in it you know, when you're trying to, it, it, like you said earlier, it's not a competition. I'm just doing me right now. And um, we wish And stuff love gets life. power when you give it attention. Right. Because how can you I understand not? what I'm if saying? I'm watching so, you all the time. Right. So, so if, 
if let's say there there is a nail technician that has a problem with me and she goes spouting on Instagram or or Facebook or whatever and she's going on and on and on. Yeah. It's nothing if I don't comment on it. Mm -hmm. If I don't if I don't if I don't add fuel right. that's on her, on the wood that she put down. Absolutely. Then there's no fire. Hello somebody. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that I'm ignoring, yeah, or or that, that it's not there. It no, it's not. It's not that it's not there. It's yeah. that, that I'm not entertaining it. Hello. So if I don't, if I don't give it the energy that that she's putting into it, then I'm then I'm straight. Absolutely. If I would just continue on where I'm going, right? And that's what I wish a lot of celebrities would learn. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't yeah. have to clap back at everybody who says something to you, and not for nothing, you look crazy. <laughs> when you clap back yeah. because now if this the, your good spirit you don't always have to respond that's every right. invitation that you have you don't got to go to the party that's right and and i think a lot of people okay. feel like because somebody is upset with me especially if i didn't intentionally do something to you mm -hmm. and you didn't bring that to me the bible says you should bring your whatever the person did to you bring it to them mm -hmm. and then if they don't get it you bring somebody else with you. You bring another brother with That's you. That's right. And then y'all both tell them, oh, mm -hmm. they still don't get it. You bring it. But at the end of the day, I'm absolutely not about to go with something that you, I don't. Why am I caring about you not being okay with me following the path that I'm, that I'm supposed to follow? <laughs> right. You were a piece. You were a cog in the, in the oiled machine. Thank you so much for yes. your advice. Thank you yeah. for your... But I, but I can't, I can't hold myself accountable before, for your feelings, especially if I didn't intentionally offend you. Absolutely. That's not, that's not my job. Now you're taking me off course and it's a distraction. You can't yeah. be distracted. See, that's a word. I'll let what yeah. you said for somebody, yeah. somebody going to need to hear that because yeah, you, um, and, and that's a, a lot. Right. It, absolutely. And I think the other thing that I said, I would, that, that would be a grief to, to, you know, nail text coming up is distraction. Yeah. That's right. Don't be distracted. Don't sit on Instagram all day. And I know it's easy because I'm guilty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you sit on Instagram all day, you know what you end up doing? You compare yourself to somebody. Mm -hmm. Or you see a Then you become discouraged. Mm -hmm. And then, then you sit and then now you're afraid to move into the next thing that he says to do or to the same thing that he says to do, you know. Because that's what ends up, a lot of people, that's what ends up happening when you're on this path because you're following people that you want to be like. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it was the fact that, yeah, you're getting a word from God, then cool. Yeah. Great. Then great. But you better get that word and run with it. That's right. Not yeah. be distracted. So I think the big, you know, one of the griefs that, that a lot of nail techs deal with is being distracted. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I, I mean, being distracted. In, in, any in any field or realm of you know what people are doing working or you know whatever their mission is it, it happens everywhere the same right you know i can speak to that even in what i'm doing in energy healing work and coaching and uh, it's a lot of that there and i'm like in grief why <laughs> why why are we dictating that you know but it right it, um, it does happen yeah so educate us on getting your nails done what it really means and the benefits Getting your nails done is a part of your self-care. Mm -hmm. It is essential to how you care for your body. So a lot of us take care of the main parts that we think should be taken care of. You know, like uh, we go to the doctor and make sure our internal organs are set straight. We make sure, you know, women, we go and we have, you know, exams for our breasts to make sure that, you know, we're, we're, you know, there's no cancer, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. um, yeah. so we, we care for ourselves in the way sometimes that, you know, we eat, we, we turn vegan or we change our whole, you know, our, our way of eating, but we forget about the extremities. Yeah. You know what I mean? You forget, you go get your hair done, you know, but a lot of people don't even go and get facials. Your mm -hmm. hair, your skin and your nails, they are essential to your, your carrying on, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, so in my studies and, and, and as, as I've gone and, and doing nails, I realized that even, you know, once you get into your eighties and stuff, if you haven't taken care of your hands or your body as a whole, uh -huh. your hands and your feet, usually, especially when it comes to like diabetes and hypertension yeah. or, or someone who has, 
you know, succumb to uh, smoking um, ailments. Uh -huh. The fingers, the toes, the yeah. feet, those go. Yeah. Those are the first to go. You wow. know, and, and, and a lot of women when they when they, you know, have cancer, it's not just the hair that goes. Mm -hmm. Your fingernails go. Wow. Wow. A lot of people you know, they don't talk about that, you know. And in cancer, that's something that you can't really help. But when you think about it, a lot of how you see yourself is is attributed to your your beauty your aesthetics you know what i'm yeah. saying so if if i see yeah. myself if my hair is done i feel better about myself so right. when your nails are done it's a part of your self care it's a part of filling your spirit when you go and you sit down in front of someone you can a lot of times you can unleash what you've been dealing with in the week mm -hmm. So there's so many benefits to getting your nails done. It's not just a luxury. It's not something that you should, you know, uh, oh, it's not in my budget. Let me count it out. No, you need to go mm -hmm. and do that because it is not only a spiritual moment for you, mm -hmm. but aesthetically it's helping you mm -hmm. and physically it's helping you. You know, you're, you're taking care of your nails in a way that helps you as you go along that you're not deteriorating in that area so now if something is going on in your body i can detect it in your nails yeah gotcha. i can see when something is not right and i can say hey you're mm -hmm. gonna need to see a doctor you know for someone who might not even have even been thinking to see the doctor for anything yeah. you may have something going on that i could be like um this is a sign of this i, I think you need to go to the doctor Whoa, well, that's you know good. That, that's yeah so it's so it. much more than just hey let me put some acrylics on you know yeah. and and look cute i mean that's a part of it if that's what you want to do but a lot of people think that that's that's all that there is to, to to nails it's not just about putting on false nails as people say or putting acrylic on or getting a gel manicure or a manicure just get a manicure the yeah. manicure mm -hmm. there's so much healing in a manicure mm -hmm. especially the massage part honey yeah. There's so much healing in that. There's a lot of rest that comes in. There's a lot of relaxation. Mm -hmm. And getting your nails done is, is a way to get you to get to that relaxation part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of us feel that we have to be in control all the time. Mm -hmm. That you, you're in control getting a massage. You're in control getting your hair done. You're in control yeah. getting your nails done. And those are the places where... God is teaching us because mm -hmm. that's the servitude. I'm serving you. So yeah. in my serving you, I'm trying to get you to relax. God put those things in place so that you can relax yes. because he wants to teach you that you need to let go of mm -hmm. the control that you think mm -hmm. that you have. Back to that. Piece so of that's, God. that's, yeah, no, that's, so that's, that's what, that's, that's what the, the benefits are and getting your nails done your feet too you got to take care of those feet you <laughs> these are the things that you're using every single day right. every yeah. almost every minute of the day yeah those are the most used besides your eyes and your mouth yeah it's true if you don't have your feet you got a crutch to mm -hmm. walk right mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so you 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 got to take care of those 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 extremities of your body because they are essential to your to your life the, your, not a lifespan, but they're essential to your life, period. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for sharing that. Um, what are some common um, nail tip, nail tech phrases, excuse me. What are some common nail tech <laughs> phrases <laughs> that customers should be aware of? Oh, my God. <laughs> they, they're already aware of them, you know, that, and, and it, it, it speaks to what we just, you know, what I was just talking about, relaxing your hands. And see, I didn't know that was something, you know. That's I didn't know a that thing. A yeah, see. First of all, it's, it's, it's what we say. I, I, I used to say it almost all the time. And I still have times where I have to tell somebody, you're relaxed. Yeah. And, 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 and it's not something. People's mentals yeah. are so caught up mm -hmm. in being in control and they don't even know it. Yeah. You don't even know that you're trying to control the situation. Mm -hmm. You don't realize it. That's why people have to be told sometimes to relax, yeah. to let it go, right. to release. Absolutely. You have to have those moments. That's why massage and all of that stuff is 
all of that's in place so that you can release. Absolutely. Relax your hand. You are so busy thinking mm -hmm. about stuff that has nothing to do with this moment. Yeah. And I think that that's what, you know, um, relax your hand is saying, be in the moment. Yeah. Be in this moment and let yourself enjoy what's happening right now. Right. That's what is so imperative. I think we, we're so concentrated on what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. You can't change it. You can't fix it. It's mm -hmm. over. Yeah. And what's going to happen tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What you think you can control for tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you're like, yo, I didn't even anticipate on this happening. And something happens and you're like, oh, my gosh. So yeah. why don't you just stay in that moment that you're in right now? Yeah. I, Relax me, your hands. <laughs> I want to tell you about a, 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 a situation that happened to me recently at a nail shop and I, I was just going to get my feet done and then they had the news on and I'm looking around and I, I had, I'm listening to jazz because I have my earphones in and I'm looking around and everybody's listening to this bad news that's on the news all day long from morning mm -hmm. until you go to bed. And this one lady, she was just looking like, Oh, and this other guy, he was looking like, you know, and, and then this woman later, she was just shaking her head. And I'm like, aren't we supposed to be in here um, relaxing? Aren't we supposed to be in here not thinking about that? shouldn't even be on. Today? Okay, so you know, I went to the manager, right? I said, can, is there anybody I can talk to to change the energy in here? Because I'm supposed to be here to relax. And you have the news on, and they're talking about somebody's dying, and, or somebody just got shot, or just what they show on the news every day, all day anyway, to, to consume our mind with that as well. And I'm like, can we do some, play some music or something? She looked at me, no. I said, okay, I'm out. I won't be back there, okay? Right. Because I think, you know, even, even in my... I have um, a friend who she, I was in the same space with her. She allowed me to be in the same space with her. And I thank God for her. Um, I think she's so dope. And um, she was an esthetician. Mm -hmm. um, and her music was always like, very spa like uh -huh. and another one of my friends like you know estheticians they always have spa like music on uh -huh. so i would say you know what i'm gonna do that too <laughs> <laughs> even though i'm doing nails i think that helps people to relax so yeah. you know my music would either be you know sometimes I'd be like you know what do you want to listen to or most of the times like my, my clients will tell you i had on some gospel music or yeah. i had on some spa like music it was okay. one of the two mm -hmm. um or i made sure that my conversation was you know light and fun or whatever but that's a that's a big part of people relaxing is is what what you're feeding in your eye gates yeah you know and what you're thinking about at that moment um so i'll say relax your hands is one of them um that we say a lot to to clients um the other one that we we really absolutely get tired of saying is pick your color <laughs> like what color do you want you know what i mean what length do you want your nails yeah okay, so what shape we doing today you know you, like those those are the those are the things that we always want to know yeah um the one thing that i've always told my clients um when they sit down in my chair is be honest with me that's my one of my phrase be honest with me mm -hmm. and i require your honesty because you know, your honesty makes you accountable and it makes me accountable. Absolutely. Okay. And I think a lot of women and people in general don't like to be held accountable for things. Yeah. Um, and accountability is how you grow. Because even if I make a mistake, if I'm, if I hold myself accountable for that mistake, then I'm not in denial, which will keep me back from growing. But if I'm accountable for it, I get to grow. Yeah past that you know what i'm saying um so my one of my phrases be honest with me yeah and and that goes with okay how did these nails come off did this happen <laughs> did you do this did this, like right. talk to me tell me yeah. the truth you know what i'm saying even if you feel like it's my fault tell me what happened don't tell me what you think yeah. happened tell me what actually happened mm -hmm. so th those are my phrases okay cool cool so what are some misconceptions about the types of nails to choose from um that's that's a good question and and i'm gonna say that's a good question because at first when i saw the question i was like huh um <laughs> but but then but then i had to think about 
what you were actually asking me. Um, so there's a lot of misconceptions about a lot of different things that, that happen with nails. First of all, just because uh, someone has acrylic nails doesn't make them um, wasteful. Because a lot of people think that going to get your nails done every two weeks and spending $100 or, or more or less is wasteful. It's mm -hmm. absolutely not, especially when it's for the betterment of that person. Okay. Okay. Um, if that's making me feel better, uh, and I'm not saying go out and do retail therapy and, and put yourself in a hole. No. If it's something that you can afford to do, then absolutely. Yeah. If you can't afford that much, then scale back a little bit, but don't lose the, 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 the momentum of doing it. Yeah. Um, uh, the other misconception, I think that if I have long nails, I can't do anything. That's an absolute lie. Yes. <laughs> absolute and total fabrication. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't mean that because I have long nails, I am this type of person. There's this guy, I forget his name, but he was on Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. And he created this book, these books. Um, and he, he managed to get on Steve Harvey's show and talk about these books. So I feel like Steve needs to bring me on his show so that we could talk about those <laughs> books. Right. Bring him back on so we That's can talk right. about these books. Because I want to give him a piece of my mind. So I guess I could do it right now. Um, you cannot generalize or categorize women by the color of nails that we choose. Okay. That is absolutely absurd. And it's, it's downright disrespectful because that means that you're you're basically saying that I'm I'm less of a person mm -hmm. because of what I chose to put on my nails. Are are you are you kidding me right now? Right. So wait a minute. If I did the same thing to you, would I be a jerk? Yeah. Absolutely. If I said, "Oh, a dude who only wants to walk around in sweats and sneakers, he's a bum." Yeah. Wow. That's rude. <laughs> or if I said a man who doesn't get his nails done is a low down, disgusting turd, and I never want to see that's just that you don't you don't you don't do that. Yeah. And he did that. He had this book where he categorized what colors a woman wears. It, it tells you whether you should run from her or not. Hmm. Wow. I was so upset when I was watching, and I was like, not that it you know pertains to me i'm not offended by it because i wear whatever color i want to wear and i'm yeah. a whole woman and i know i'm an amazing woman yeah and it, it didn't change what i thought about myself but i said but for some woman who is out there she might now totally change up her whole style right, right 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 because this man was able to have a voice to say hey this is what i think of this no 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 no. Right. Now you can have your opinions. That's great. Mm -hmm. But don't shove your opinion on somebody else. Now you have a whole group of men who believe this thing. Yeah, and it's yeah. not true. Like this right. guy was like, oh, if you have long talons, you know, that you're, you're out for blood and you know, you're, you're just, what? Yeah, that's Sweetheart, I, that's, that's ridiculous to me. Yeah. And I think a lot of people think that, you know, um, even in, a, in, in the business world, there's a, a certain way that you have to wear your nails and your hair yeah. in order to get a job, yeah. you know, and, 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 and I get that, but that doesn't mean that I'm still not proficient in what it is that I have gone to school to right. learn. It doesn't mean that I'm not yeah. good at what I do. Yeah. Um, so I think that, you know, we can't prejudge people by the, the color of nails they have. You know, there's yeah. some people who have their nails super duper duper long. Mm -hmm. and we automatically like oh my gosh that's crazy they they possibly they can't possibly get things done oh yeah like they'll look at them and say oh she can't type with, with those nails I've, right i've seen and, some type up and, something <laughs> yo you understand what i'm saying so i, <laughs> I think really that are. those are the misconceptions that i think we need to put out of our minds and 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 we don't realize that we're judging that person yeah in that moment you know what I mean? Like I've seen some lady and her nails, my sister and I, we were, my sister, and my niece, we were in the doctor's office and this lady's nails was like curled over. And I was like, girl, I don't think I had ever. And I was and in my mind, I was calculating how much I was going to charge her to do her nails. Right, right. I wasn't, you know, in my mind, I wasn't thinking, wow, that's disgusting. I was just like, mm, yeah, dang, how much like that would probably be, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I started thinking number wise, you know what I'm right. but, in, but in my head, I was like, 
I want to see her go about her day and see how she does things. Because yeah. if she got all her clothes on, I know somebody else didn't dress her. I know she did it right. herself. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think that going off of a color of someone's nails is, is, is a huge misconception. Thinking that, you know, I can't wipe my butt with my nails being oh, super long. It's disgusting, one. number one. It's intrusive, number two. Yeah. And I just think it's stupid. I think it's a, a huge misconception. Like, let people be who they are. Let people do what they want to do for themselves. And right. you do what you want to do for yourself. Because to me, when I see with someone with their nails not done, am I judging you? Yep. <laughs> but... At the same token, I know that I can't, I can't do that. You know right. what I'm saying? I can't yeah. judge because I don't know. You could be a mechanic or something and not get you. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. there could be so many different reasons as to why. You might not know somebody who's good enough to do your nails. Yeah. You know, so I can't sit and say, oh, that's disgusting that she doesn't get her nails done. But right. do I like that you don't get your nails done as a woman, as a man? No. Yeah. I think that you absolutely should get your nails done. I think you should be groomed. I think you should look well kept at right. all times yeah even if you if you got on sweatpants and, and a t-shirt but i don't know your story to be like oh wow you know she's a hot mess for her nails not to be done right if i look at your nails and they chipped up i'm gonna be like i just need her to make some time to fix those <laughs> <laughs> like, like and my mind is just right. like i just want to do it for you like i just yeah. want to be like can i do your nails it's you amazing know, so, that you just yeah. go straight there. You you, you don't even yeah. see what everybody else see. You're thinking no. about working or helping or assistance. You're yeah, like I feel like, oh my gosh, yeah. I just want to do your nails. Like there's yeah. been several times I'm like, can I just give them a business card? Jesus? And I do. Yeah. And my friend is like, yo, you're so rude. And I'm like, but why? And she's like, because you gave her a business card. That's a great because opportunity. Her nails done. And I was like, exactly. I said, ma'am, yeah. her nails are not done. I do nails. She admired my nails. Let me help you out. Yeah. What's wrong with that? No. How is that rude? No, that's not rude. That's an opportunity. <laughs> that's a, you know see what I'm saying? So I think that those are the misconceptions. I think um, every, every, every nail tech should be Asian getting, you know, doing your nail. No. And every Asian shop and how much they charge is law. That is absolutely not true. Every black nail technician does not overcharge. Every brown nail technician does not overcharge. We charge you what it costs. We charge you what we're worth. Yeah. We charge you what we deal with. Mm -hmm. Asians, they, they don't do that. And nothing against Asian because I, I like, there's some nail technicians that I follow on Instagram that are Asian and they are amazing. Yeah. But there are chop shops. There are non-standard salons mm -hmm. that do things underhanded. Mm -hmm. And... They, they charge you so low, but they still get the max. You think that they're charging you low, but they charge you for every little thing you ask for. Mm -hmm. Not only do they charge you for every little thing they ask for or that you ask for or that you don't ask for because most people don't speak up. I don't know what it is that they have this fear of these people, but mm -hmm. you're getting what you don't want and you're getting charged for every minute of it. What you're getting talked about. Oh, yeah. You know, you're, you're having all of these things happen to you in this time frame mm -hmm. that you're supposed to be relaxing. And right. then when you get with someone of color mm -hmm. and we, we do things the right way, mm -hmm. you, you think judging. we're doing it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You think that we're trying to steal from you. We mm -hmm. ain't trying to steal from you. We're not trying to take your 40 acres and a mule, darling. Yeah. What we're doing is we're serving you but yeah. we'd like to serve you with less attitude and we'd like you to be on the receiving end with less attitude, yeah, with yeah, less yeah. trepidation. You know, like don't have trepidation when it comes to somebody that looks like you. That's right. Because Absolutely. you think immediately I'm going to overcharge you. You think immediate, like you are already undervaluing me before you sat in right. my chair. Right. Because of what you're used to, to. Mm -hmm. at, at, at a, at a non-standard salon. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I would say don't take what the non-standard salons charge you and do as law. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that because you're, you're looking at things with the wrong eyes. Your perspective is off. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not against you and you shouldn't be against me. Wow. As I didn't even know a lot of this existed, but I did, but I didn't. You know, if you're not in it, it's to be honest yeah. with you, it's if you don't see it all the time. Yeah, you just don't mm -hmm. 
you know, that's the truth. Appreciate that's the how truth. much you have to go through and deal with us, even just as a, a, a nail technician and, you know, the things that happen and how we should treat each other or talk to each other. Are you even coming to your shop? Like you're saying in the money wise and wow, that that's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, what's the basic treatment for nails? <clears throat> basic treatment. Okay. Um, clipping your, your nails, mm -hmm. you know, uh, pushing your cuticles back gently, you know, and that's not even a, you can push them back with your fingertip. It doesn't have to be something forceful. Um, because that allows your nails to have a little bit more freedom to grow. Mm -hmm. Um, because a lot of times the, the cuticle, which is the dead skin and it's attached to your eponychium, which is the living skin sometimes they get kind of trapped together they you know they're stuck to each other and, yeah. and not to say that your nail can't grow it'll grow but then it just looks nasty when it's growing out because you've got this dead skin um yeah. so i always tell people push your cuticles back you know to keep them hydrated drink water yes yes drink water and not just oh i drink water i drink a glass or something they know you got to drink a lot of water yeah um you're you're you're, you're supposed to drink at least half your body weight in yeah. water mm -hmm. okay um, because your body is, is about, what is it? 75% water, I believe. Um, so that's, that's a part of your, your care for your nails. Uh, I would say, you know, besides clipping your nails down, um, make sure you get moisture. So not just from the water, but moisturizing with lotion, mm -hmm. cuticle oil, you okay. know, just make sure that your skin stays hydrated. And even sunscreen. Mm -hmm. um, sunscreen is essential because you can actually get melanomas on your hands from not having enough, you know, sunscreen on. Yeah, yeah. And know how to, detect, like sunscreen, so sunscreen goes by, so the, the SPF, goes by the time frame so if you see spf 30 that means that only lasts for 30 minutes okay mm -hmm. yeah it's only protecting you for 30 minutes um so you know you want to get something that's gonna like a spf 90 if you know you're gonna be in the sun okay. make sure that everything is is covered and, and right. your hands included okay. um so yeah those are those are the basics keep your you know your nails trimmed i'm looking neat yeah if you want to keep them long shape them with a good file the mm -hmm. best file for me that I tell people to use, you know, I know people go to the store and they get those little regular little corny emery boards. That ain't going <laughs> to do it. <laughs> you need a 240 um, or higher or even a 320 because they won't damage the nail plate. Um, they won't cause any, you know, scratches or rifts in your nail plate. So those are the ones, 240, 320. Those are the ones I say file your nails with. File in one direction. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Cool, cool. Thank you for sharing that. Now let's talk You're about welcome. Tip Tuesday. Where Yay! did that come from? Where did that come from? How did you develop this concept? Tell us. Oh man. So I was working um, in uh, two dealerships. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> uh, and that whole story is a whole nother thing. But I was working in two car dealerships doing manicures. Mm -hmm. And the man that gave me the job and helped to facilitate me being there. His name was Angus. His name is Angus, excuse me. Angus Fox, and he's so awesome. And um, I call him my angel because he totally made that situation like happen. He allowed God to use him and, and, and yeah. bring me in. Yeah. Um, and so one day we were sitting down and I, and, and I was like, I'm gonna do your manicure. Come on, let me do your manicure, please, please, please. And so he let me do his manicure. And while, while I was doing the manicure, he's like sitting there trying to brainstorm things for me to, to, to improve my business. Oh, wow. Right? He's sitting there thinking of stuff like, D, you could do this. Like, you know, D, I think you should do this. And what about if you did this? And he was like, you know, you should do a Tip Tuesday. And I was like, what? What is that? <laughs> like, what is that? You know, he was like, you know, like give people tips. You know, uh, like, you know, and I was like, Oh, okay. All right, cool. And then he started you know, like showing me these little uh, websites and stuff and like Reddit or something. And I went, all right, cool. And he's like, okay, you know, when you want to do your website, I'm going to do it for you. I'll help you. And, you know, he was just this awesome being. He okay. still is an awesome being, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh man, Tip Tuesday. So I took that in my spirit. Yeah, yeah. 
And I was like, Tip Tuesday. So I was like, okay, God, do you want me to do a Tip Tuesday? Like, how am I going to do this Tip Tuesday? Like, Tip Tuesday, where, where do I start? <laughs> like, what? I got, like, what tips do I have, Lord? Yeah. And, and it all goes back to teaching. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't, and, and, and I was just like, okay, so I was like, I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I call, I called up um, my photographer slash videographer, and I was like, I need your help on this. <laughs> and he was like, all right, babes, whatever you want to do, you know, I'm with it. Yeah. Um, and I was like, all right, so we're going to do it. So I started coming up with some tips. I sat down and I was brainstorming and I started coming up with these little titles and I started Aww. researching and, and yeah. most of the stuff that I had already known because I, yeah. you know, I taught and yeah. I still teach. Um, so I, I did it the, the first run and I was like, no, nah, I look fat. I don't like it. I don't want to do it. Nope, I don't like it. And he was like, are you kidding me? Like, let's do it. Like, no, 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 you look great. And I'm going to edit it. And I was like, no, nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> so I lost weight. Uh-huh. Right? And I went on this thing because I was about to turn 40, I think, when I went to start it again. Okay. Um, so when I first did it, I was about to be 40. And I was like, I can't go into 40 looking like this. I, I got to drop this. So yeah. I-, I made sure that I dropped this weight. And then I was like, okay. We slim now. Let's do it. <laughs> and he's like, you're it. ridiculous. He's like, you're ridiculous. But okay, let's go. So we did this whole photo shoot and stuff. And then after the photo shoot, he was like, okay, we're going to record the new Tip Tuesdays. And I was like, okay. So I think the first one was your nails are not tools. And I was like, okay, how are we going to do this? Right? Yeah. So we recorded it. And I didn't like it again, Miami. I hated it. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, no, bro, I don't like this. I don't like And it's not that he didn't do a good job. It's just I felt like I was, it was forced a little bit. I didn't feel like I was being myself. Yeah. Um, and and I, I, I just, it just looked fake and cheesy to me. It looked cheesy more than anything. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, oh, forget it, man. I forget it. Like, I don't like it. And I think I was having a conversation with one of my, one of my guy friends. And I was like, man, this Tip Tuesday ain't coming out like the way I want. He was like, record yourself. Scenario, I love you. He was like, so do it yourself. Record yourself. And I was like, what? Have him do that. <laughs> and he was like, use your phone and record <laughs> your own videos. And I was like, bro, you're a genius. And I right, was like, right. I don't know if I could do it. You know, like, I don't know. He's like, just do it. You can do it. Just do it. So I was wow. like, all right. And that's how, the, where we are now. And he said, I will help you. And Aww. so a lot of the, so the graphics that you see where it says Tip Tuesday above and below, yeah. he did that, you know, Aww. and that's the it was days. Yes. And it was days where, cause he was doing all of the editing for me. Okay. And he made me learn how to edit my own videos See. and how to, how to put, you know, um, because he wouldn't be available. Yeah. And, and I was like, oh my God, like, like panicking, like, Lord, I, I got to do this tip Tuesday. Like I'm, yeah. I'm dedicated to this. It has to go out. Yeah. And I literally was like, okay, I'm going to download some apps to edit. And then he was like, yo, you edit these better than I do. <laughs> and I was like, no, he's like, no, he says, no, it's not because he said, like, you edit them better because you know you, you know what you right, want right, in right, there. Right, right, right. And I was like, but you taught me that I needed to do this and how to, you know what I mean? Like I literally learned how to do it, but it was because of right. a need. Yeah. So God says, I'm, you're, you're going to have a need yeah. and I'm going to meet the need That's right. with another need. Right. And so you need to get this video done. That's right. Right. You need to get this video edited. So you need to learn how to edit this video. Right. You see what I'm saying? So yes. I had to learn how to edit the videos and it just happened that, I was like, okay, I'm going to edit these videos. And then I'll, then it got back to where I could send them back to him and he would put the finishing touches on it, like all of the comical graphics and stuff. And, yeah. but I literally had to sit and record the videos myself. So I would be in my room, uh, in my apartment. when I was in, living in Charlotte, I'd be in the apartment, recorded them. I would mm-hmm. be in a salon that I had in Charlotte recording them and I would be saying it over and over again to the point where the ladies that were in the salon would be like welcome to the spot life <laughs> <laughs> they would be screaming and sometimes you could literally hear them in the background tip Tuesday oh my like, lord everybody knew it's yeah. Tuesday it's tip Tuesday time oh, like at the end of the day it was tip Tuesday oh time 
That is and so fun. It was it was all because of Angus Fox that I got that idea to do Tip Tuesday. And I'm forever grateful. Yes, because it definitely is working. I love it. I love I, it. And so it's fun. <laughs> I look forward to it. Like some things, like nowadays, I'm like, okay, God, I, uh, I'm up to 51, Jesus. I'm grateful, yeah. but I'm like, what else can I tell them? Like, I feel like some days I'm like, I'm out of my mind trying to figure out what's next. And then it's he fun. gives me something else. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, but when I don't feel like recording, even though I know I'm supposed to do it, yeah. and you know, you got to do things when you don't feel like it, you know? Um, yeah. But when I don't record, I'm like, I'm just going to replay, just repost the old ones because I have new followers and everybody hasn't seen the so, old ones because yeah, they're so idea. far back. Yeah. And I got that from my friend Pudgy. He was like, yo, just post up stuff yeah. that people, you know, that's, that's from the past that people haven't seen instead of not putting anything, period, just Absolutely. do that. And I was like, okay, yeah. great idea, bro. You're like, I have some amazing people around me that are so insightful and so smart. Yeah. Um, that they help me with the, the business aspect of things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, they keep me in, 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 God knows who he needs to send to make you do what you have to do. Absolutely. So now I'm up to 51 and I'm actually like, okay, I'm going to record it before <laughs> the weekend yeah. is up. Um, cause it co it correlates with uh tip 50, but that's I, how it started. I love it. I love that's it. How it's so it fun. Started. I just like, to thank you. you are hilarious. But let's talk about these vocals let's 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 do that because you know oh, I, man. I couldn't wait to get to this part because just hearing you hearing your voice i love it it's it's very catchy and i just love your style so Thank how you. does music play a role in your life man um i've, I've been singing since i was five years old of course <laughs> uh, um and for all i know it's probably been before that you know um the music came before the nails absolutely it did it did it did it totally did um music and acting that was what i thought i was gonna I was like yeah i'm gonna be an actress i'm gonna be famous because girl i'm good right <laughs> but i didn't always believe in in any of my gifts mm -hmm. um and i doubted everything that god gave me a lot of times yeah um, and I, and I did what I wasn't supposed to do, which was compare my voice to other people. And I was like, mm -hmm. people don't want to hear my voice because I, you know, it's not like hers. And I would always want, I was coveting. Yeah. I always wanted what somebody else had. I always wanted their voice. And I didn't realize that, you know, until now where I'm, you know, I'm 42 years old and I'm like, yo, you was bugging out back then. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was afraid. Like my parents wanted me to go on all on a uh, star search, and I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> they was like, "Okay, well then go on Apollo." Oh no! You definitely ain't getting me to go on Apollo. They rude. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 it, and it ended up where, um, I ended up singing in city hall. Uh, I I, I ended up <laughs> singing in a lot of places that that I didn't think I was ever going to be in. I remember getting offered a, a, a gospel recording contract from um, Jeff Robinson and Conrad Robinson over at NBK. And I was like, nope. <laughs> oh, I was my. like, no. Uh -huh. Because at that moment I felt like, but I can make it as an R&B artist. Like, what are you trying to tell me? And, and I didn't realize at that moment, God was saying, no ma'am, that's not what I want. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and Jeff, you know, if they, if they get to hear this, I'm still willing to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, since I was a little girl, both my parents sing. So that's pretty much where it came from. My sister sings yeah. um, very well. Like my sister has, <sighs> my sister is one of the people that made me want to sing. Like I would listen to my sister yeah. when I would spend time with her and I would be so enamored by her voice. Um, and I still am like when my sister sings, my heart melts. She don't know that. <laughs> you don't know now. You know now. <laughs> but but like I I and like I love my sister to to the utmost. And yeah. her voice is so dope to me. Yeah. That I would be like, man, like I want to sing. You know what I mean? Like I want to yeah. sing like that. Um, my mom sings. My mother sings. My mother loves opera, so she would sing. You know, like opera songs and stuff. And I'd be like, yo, my mom's range is amazing. Yeah. Um. And my dad sings and, you know, my dad was like Sam Cooke and the Temptations mixed together. Okay. So I think it was only, it was only right that I would be uh, a singer too. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, and yeah. so my mom, when we joined the church, she immediately was like, okay, so you're going to be in dance class <laughs> and you're going to sing. Yeah. So here you go. And I was uh, placed on this choir, it was called the Angel Choir. Mm -hmm. um, and I sang in that church up until I was probably about uh, maybe 16, 17 years old. I, I was still singing. Okay. And so I was singing all throughout high school. Throughout mm -hmm. Every school I was in, I was singing. I remember my chorus teacher in uh, my intermediate school, Mr. Roy Prescott. That man was rough you hear me <laughs> but but he was one of the best things that's ever happened to me because he made me learn music theory yeah he 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 pushed me in in ways that i was just like i didn't like him at the time for it but i love him now <laughs> because, yeah absolutely. because he was my beginnings you know mm -hmm. um and then i had i had a record deal with uh this this production company and that kind of folded but those guys were amazing because they pushed me to, yeah. to be, you know, uh, an artist and really sing and, and not be afraid of singing. Yeah. Um, and then I just was like, okay, I've been in groups with these two young ladies um, and we were called Deja Vu. <laughs> all right. <now. laughs> and we, we were all over the whole bad boy office. Like everybody, you know, knew us and um, it just didn't come to fruition. But that taught me, you know, a lot about myself and the oh, industry yeah. and people and I learned so much in that time frame and then I just decided I was going to go independent and, and do this thing by myself yeah and then I learned how to record myself mm -hmm. uh, I, I learned you know I can I can operate Pro Tools like the best yeah. engineer you know what I mean <laughs> like Absolutely. so so the, the the music is is still in me um but I, I had to take a break from the music mm -hmm because I had a accident in church uh, singing mm -hmm. where one of my uh, vocal cords, the blood vessels in my vocal cords burst. Oh, oh sorry to hear that. Mm. And um, I was hoarse for a long time, <laughs> mm -hmm. a very long time. Um, and I said, God, if you give me back my voice, I'll do whatever you say with it. I promise, yeah. like, just give it back to me. You know, um, and when I went back to the doctor one day, I had to do speech therapy and stuff. And I went back to the doctor and long story short, the doctor goes, this is amazing. <laughs> and I'm sitting there with this tube down my throat, which is very uncomfortable, by the way. Uh -huh. it's, it goes through your nasal passage and down your throat. Uh -huh. And he and, and I'm like, what? Because <laughs> I can't really say much. Yeah. And he's like, I've never seen this happen before. So my vocal cords were healed completely All right. no scar no nothing he said most people when this happens they have a lot of scar tissue which is why adele had to have like surgery because she had it and it and it had scar tissue or you develop like polyps and yeah. i had none of those Ooh. and so i was like okay all right then that means i could sing again um and then i just started to to work on writing and singing again and you know I, it's like something i pick up and put back down yeah. and i'm like i think that's something one of the things that he's like i'm waiting for you yeah um but oh, that's where the music came from my parents and of course the lord above all right now i trust me i get it so, so it's been a journey <laughs> <laughs> now you had touched on this earlier um do you travel are you mobile are you available for pop-up shops or other type of events? absolutely i absolutely am i am i am i am um I have a few people that have asked me to be in their pop-up shops and I don't know, it's just something that stops me a little bit from um, joining. And I think it's the thought of me driving. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I don't uh -huh. feel like driving 15 million hours of uh, um, roadway. I don't, know, I don't feel like doing that, but <laughs> um, yeah, I am mobile. I am also stationary. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm flexible basically. Okay. We just, yeah opportunities so that's why i wanted that question to be answered so yeah, yeah i'm available. flexible i'm open yeah. yeah okay that's what i'm talking about how can one get spotted that's what they need to know how can they yeah get yeah, yeah that's the <laughs> well you know especially if you're in the virginia area you're you know i'm i'm, I'm here for you you know <laughs> if you are in the portsmouth you know norfolk area i got you even virginia beach i got you 
Okay. All right. Um, and if you need me to travel, you know, taking care of travel, we straight. I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. Um, <laughs> but I also have a press online. Yeah. Uh, where I do luxury press ons and. And I say luxury because I adorn them with things and I, you know, I make them look lit, but they're luxury because I'm doing them. And right. I believe that I, okay. I put out luxury product, That's even funny. if it's a plain set, just one color, nothing on it. It's still a luxury. Um, yes. So I have that. And um, yeah, if you, like I said, you need me in your area, you put together a party, I'll be right there. All right. And then, you know, I'm on Instagram at D's on the spot nails. And on Facebook at D's on the spot nails. And it's D with like, it would seem apostrophe S, but just lose the apostrophe and just put the S. Yeah. And then everything else is easy. Okay. Like it, <laughs> it bugs me out when people read my name on Instagram and they're like DS on the spot. And I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> I'm like, I get so annoyed and I'm like, Lord, I'm sorry. People can only meet you where they at. Don't be That's mad right. at them. That's right. That's right. Oh my goodness. Don't be mad at them. So leave us with one of your favorite quotes. Oh, or a word. doesn't even have to be a quote. Give us a good word. Um, forgive yourself. Uh, forgive yourself and forgive others. And, and, and in doing those things, love will open up its, its, its doors and you can walk right in. Um, forgive, forgive everything that you felt like you didn't do right. Forgive everyone who you felt didn't do you right um because your healing will come in that yes um and don't be afraid to 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 forget what somebody did a lot of people say that they forgive but they don't want to forget what the person did mm -hmm. and your healing comes in you forgetting what they did and I say that because, you know, people are like, oh, I'm not going to forget it because then I know how to deal with you. you but you, that's the wrong perspective. Yeah. Um, because uh, like we were saying before, imagine if God did that. Imagine if God said, yeah, I forgave you, but I ain't going to forget what you mm -hmm. did, little girl. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If, if he did that, then you would be in a different position than you're already in. You, you would be in a way worse position right. than you are already in, you know, right. and, and even if you're not in a bad position, you would be in a bad position because you don't have the forgiveness. So when you forgive yourself, you allow yourself to grow and move forward. Yeah. So, you know, don't beat yourself up about something that you, you know, you, you didn't get right or, you know, something that, you know, um, you hurt yourself with. Just yeah. let it go. And yeah. that takes, that's not something that's going to be a one-off. It's a, something that you have to do every single day. Every day I forgive me. Every day I forgive her. Yeah. And, 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 and say, God, just wipe it from my memory. Men in black me. I don't want to remember it. Yeah. Because a lot of times what people don't realize is that when you remember what that person did, you relive it. Mm -hmm. And when you relive it, it becomes now. It's, it's what's happening at that moment. Right. So if you forget it, it won't recapture itself in your mind. And then you can move forward with loving that person the way you're supposed to. Even if that means loving them from a distance, it still means I'm loving you no matter what. And I think that's what I would want to leave with because that's what I'm working on. Yeah. Forgiving and loving people mm -hmm. and letting people be who they are and forgiving myself. Because yes. a lot of times we beat yes. ourselves up so right. badly, and I'm so guilty of that. I beat myself mm -hmm. up so badly yeah. that I don't even recognize myself. You know, you ever get in a fight, you know, or you ever see a boxing match, and a dude is beat up so bad you can't even recognize him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you are after you beat yourself up. You don't even recognize who God created you to be. Mm-hmm. You don't recognize the beauty that is within you. You don't recognize that there's a calling because now you're in a pit of despair and self-pity and, 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 and demise and you don't yes. like yourself. Nah, that's, that's, that's something that you have to, we have to break out of that. And that's something that you have to do singly daily, yeah. not something else anybody else can do for you. God can't even do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. Absolutely. So before I let you go, what has your attention in the world of nails that you would like to see change or bring further awareness or education to? Love. 
And that's not just love for what you do. It's love for other people. Yeah. I want to see, I want to see people love the person that's sitting across from them yeah. more than they love the dollar. Mm-hmm. I, I want to mm-hmm. see, I want to see other yeah. nail technicians love each other more than they do. You know what I'm saying? Love, love the person genuinely. Mm-hmm. I want you to, I, I want you to, and, and, and loving means supporting unabashedly. Like I'm going to support you no matter what, Yeah. no matter what it is you're doing, even though I'm doing the same thing that you're doing, I still want to support you because you're doing it. You know what I mean? I, Cause when you love somebody, you cheer them on. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you know, you don't have no, there's no ego. There's no pride. I want, I would love for the ego and the pride to disappear. I would love for the disconnection to disappear. I would love for all of that to disappear. And, and, you know, that, that's one of the reasons why I think I'm here, um, is to help make the disconnection, uh, go. I'm, I'm hoping that I can bridge, you know, gaps. Um, and, and that we would not get caught up in, okay, so she's a celebrity nail tech and she's just a regular nail tech. And it, no, 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 no. The divisions that's going on, I, no, that's, that's not what God said us to do. There's no dissension. He doesn't want dissension. He doesn't want division. Yeah. You know, the, the purpose of, of every human being is to rely on the, on the next. You know what I'm saying? Two are better than one for where two are, that's they right. will succeed. Mm-hmm. If there's one, he's going to fall by himself. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't want the clicks. I think the clicks are ridiculous. I think we're, we're out of high school and even in high school, it was dumb because yeah. it alienates people. So, right. you know, that just goes into the division, mm-hmm. you know, treat everybody as though you would, as you would want to be treated. I think that's, that's, that's what I want to change the most. Thank I want you. people to feel loved and I want people to be loved and I want to be loved. You know what I mean? So the only way to, to be a, a, a good anything is to, to be it. You know what I'm saying? Only, only way to be it, to get a good friend is to be a good friend. Absolutely. Right. You know, so in order for me to, to, to get clientele, I, I need to be a good nail technician, you know, or I need to, I, I need to work on being a person that is, that is of sound mind and has a beautiful spirit that will transcend to people wanting to be in your space. That's right. Right. So beautiful. that's, that's, that's what I would like to change in the nail industry. And so it is. Come on now. And so it's done. <laughs> this is why I love you, girl. D, oh my God. Thank you so much for coming on the Miami Night Thank Show. Thank you. Talk. I love you too. Thank sharing you. Story, sharing your story. And uh, I mean, that, just that last thing you just As said. long as it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything that we said needs to be heard. Um, trust me. Some, it, will, it will get to the people that it needs to go to. Amen. Amen. Thank you for Amen. thank you for coming on the show. I really thank you so much for having me. You're welcome.